It's curious, though, that on such an important occasion, it's very difficult to be funny. Funny, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, first today. Thank you. <laughs> but I have to tell you that all through my 50 years in the business, two words have always been my thoughts. These two words are, what luck. What luck to have met, in the far-off days of Weekly Rep, a marvellous comedian called Glenn Melvin, who gave me my first TV job and taught me how to stutter. <laughs> what luck to have been in Oxford Rep when the young Peter Hall arrived as director and brought me to London's West End. What luck that James Gilbert saw me do a radio show and put me in the Frost Report. What luck that the star of that show, David Frost, put me under contract, which resulted in porridge and open all hours, and who paired me with the wonderful Ronnie Corbett. What luck to have had a wife for 45 years who, throughout my television career, sat in the audience of every show and laughed louder than anyone else. <laughs> and finally, standing here before you with this most honoured award bestowed upon me by you, what luck, what wonderful luck to be flanked on either side by my two best friends. And I might cry. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, watch out. <laughs> Thank you very much.